Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I am here with a completely new show, a new reaction. This is my reaction to Disastrous Life of Psyche K or Psyche Kuso no Saina. And uh, this is a show that I had my eyes on for a long time. And uh, yeah, I haven't been able to watch it. And uh, like, you know, now like I think it has like three seasons, three or four, I don't remember, but something like that. So yeah, I thought about reacting to this. So what I'm going to do is this will be a two episode every week anime reaction. Every week uh, on this day, I'll react to two episodes. So today I'll be reacting to episode one and episode two uh, of this show. So yeah, now uh, I do have a little bit of an idea what this is about. Uh, this is about, I think, Saiki Kuso, who is, uh, who is an esper. And that's all I know about this. And uh, I do, uh, what can I say? Like, I, I do know that um, this has a lot of like comedic, what can I say? Like, you know, like it's funny. Like, you know, this show is very funny. And it has a lot of, I think, inside jokes and stuff, which kind of, I think a lot of people kind of compares this with uh, Gintama. So, like, you know, like the way Gintama kind of jokes about like a lot of puns, wordplays, it's something like that, I guess. And, and maybe some fourth wall breaking as well. So this is something I've heard. I have, I have no idea if it's really like that or not. If it is, this will be really enjoyable. And I'm kind of looking forward to this because a good comedy anime, if it is done well, is always a joy to watch. So, yeah, let's get started with the first episode and the second episode later on uh in this video so yeah let's start then so okay yeah if you guys are new to my channel um i do uh timer reactions so yeah be sure to sync the original video uh to my reaction and play alongside it i yeah like and i i obviously do that because of copyright and all and i don't have an editor so yeah nothing i can do about it so, let's get started then uh, this is episode one of saki kuso no sainan so yeah, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Alright, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Okay, it starts with the opening. The disastrous life of Psyche K. Um, I don't know if there's like a reasoning behind the two little antennas. Okay, these are the characters. <laughs> Chunibyo. <laughs> oh, wait, is this guy also an Esper? Wait, what? <laughs> like the Gulliver's Travels? Wait, what? <laughs> okay. Okay, it's quite a few characters I can see. All right, nice opening. Um, Distress Life of a Psychic, part one. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> oh my God, Pochi me. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. That's the main character. 16 years. Okay. I'm in second place. <laughs> Wait, what? Why is his face censored? 
Wait, the parents are not. Wait, the parents are not bothered by. Whoa! Okay. Yeah. Told them. <laughs> okay, that's why. Wait, what? What? <laughs> Wait, okay. All right. Hmm, that's a basic. Okay. Mm, but he's just a high schooler. Oh. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah, suffering from a success, you know. Of that yeah it's wow okay oh interesting is that why he's so stoic Oh, that's why he's so stoic. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Is that the dad? What the hell is he? Oh, he lost the keys. <laughs> Again, so this happened before. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> What's happening? Oh. <laughs> Wait. This seemed pretty friendly before yeah what happened <laughs> wait what yeah i wonder what happened <laughs> Oh my god, she really <laughs> Is that even possible? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Psyche Kurumi. <laughs> Those were kind. <laughs> okay. Dark side. <laughs> Wait, she's eating. <laughs> oh. <laughs> exactly, just like what's happening in the background. Oh no! Oh my god! Uh, okay, yeah, he's an esper. I forgot.
Okay, don't raise the food. Oh my god, how is... <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, what the... <laughs> oh yeah, he, he can do that. Oh... Uh... Yeah, so why? <laughs> yeah. True. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, forced telepathy. Oh, that's how it's going. Wow. <laughs> Wait, so why? Why were they fighting in the first place? Hopefully. Oh! Oh no. Yeah, I don't think he'll be happy with that. <laughs> The worst of the worst, R Riki Nendo. E.K. Gakuen. Oh, no one. Yeah, true. Oh, yeah, 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 true. <laughs> Oh, he wins every time. That's why no one gets hundred. Oh my! <laughs> oh my God! Rock paper scissors, boy. Yeah, true. It's going to be a problem. Hmm. Yeah, true. Wait. Oh, why? Is his mind blank or something? It's his problem mind is empty or something. Doesn't think anything. Wait, what? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> He's not a bad person. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Nendo, okay. He's probably yeah, awake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he's thinking. Why is his hair? Oh my god. Oh 
Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Not a bad idea. Um wow. Yeah. Here this is Oh my god. Roots <laughs> wordplay. Oh, okay, he can, he can, yeah, I think Psyche did that. There you go, that's what you get. Oh my god, that's centigrade. He would have died at that temperature. Oh no. Oh, he thought, okay. Oh my god. Wow, I can see one thing, this is quite fast paced, you need to... Yeah, he's a Tunibio. Black beat. Ah, yes. Dark reunion. <laughs> there you go, Tunibio. Oh my god, what? Ah, yes. That might be what's happening. Oh no. <laughs> Wait, does he know? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, okay, there you go. Wait, what? Who? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> Prelude. Wow. Oh no. Did Psyche do something? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, Psyche did that. <laughs> oh. Oh no, no, okay. There you go. That's what you get for not trusting on the dark reunion or whatever. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> oh my god. Yeah. Oh, everyone's going <laughs> to Wait, what the hell is this sound effect? <laughs> True.
switch your attitude. <laughs> God and worse. Wow, oh my god. Intelligent and beautiful. Kokomi Teruhashi. Kokomi. <laughs> okay, she's one of. Okay. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah? Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. Invincible. Kunio? Wait, wasn't... <laughs> okay. Oh my god. What's happening in the background? Uh, he can hear all your thoughts. Oh my god. Teru has your word. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What is this? Okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. Oh, intro. Oh, so that's why he is okay. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, but his head is empty. So. Wow. Did he just fly away? Okay. Hmm. My God. <laughs> exactly the same reaction. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, this is... <laughs> Even he's like, what the hell is happening? Oh, is that the end? Uh, I think so. Wow, okay, that was a good first episode. Okay. <laughs> the way he's walking.
Okay, this is an Okay, this is a good ending. Okay. All right, one thing I could I was able to understand, he loves his um deserts, doesn't he? Psyche? You know like Previously as well, he got mad when his pudding was taken. Okay, that's it. Alright, that's the first episode. Now I'm going to talk about it a little bit and then start the second episode. So, okay, that was the first um, episode. Now it's broken up into a lot of sections. And uh, <clears throat> as I said, all I knew about this is that this guy is a psychic. And that's it i had no other idea what this is about and what not so um now here's the thing one thing i was able to uh, realize after watching this is this is extremely fast paced you know like the, the the things happen in like in, in a very quick way and i think i know the reason behind that as far as i remember when this came out it was like you know the little sections that we were seeing the little little sections of uh, small stories that they had each of them were like a standalone episode and i'm guessing like every episode was like a five minute to six minute episode and they you know like that's how it went so as far as i know uh this is basically the compilation of the first five or ten little five minute little sections they kind of not ten sorry um uh, four or five you know little five minute sections they kind of combined it into one episode one 24 minute episode and that's how it's going so here's the actual thing each episode were originally a small five minute sec segment so that's why they probably did it in such a fast pace to like you know kind of uh to add what can i say like you know, to add the most into it into a five minute set like how much can we even add into a five minute section to make a mini story so that's why the dialogue is so fast paced you know because it's actually supposed to be a five minute little story mini section and they basically compiled all of that into one episode, one 20 minute, four minute episode. That's the reason why the dialogue is so fast paced. And I don't have any problem with it. I could see like, you know, like I've, <laughs> I've seen even uh, like, you know, faster dialogue. Like, you know, I, I, I have my <laughs> experience with that as well. You know, for example, Tatami Galaxy, my God, if you, uh, <clears throat> I, you, you could probably understand what I'm talking about if you uh, like, you know, watch Tatami Galaxy. My God, the dialogue is insane. It, it's 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 like they're rapping. You know, that's basically Tatami Galaxy. So I was able to keep up with Tatami Galaxy. So I don't think I'll have problem with the fast paced dialogue here as well. <laughs> but yeah, okay. So uh, one thing I knew is that there are kind of word plays and all, and I could see a few of them here. You know, word plays and you know, the word plays are the most difficult to understand because it's actually the word plays based on Japanese. You know, like um, voice acting and you know, like Japanese language. So usually during translation, a lot of the jokes kind of kind of don't make sense in translation. So <clears throat> you need to actually pay attention to the voices as well. So that's like the diff most difficult part of uh, comedy shows like this, where there's like word plays, puns, and you know fourth wall breaking or stuff like that. So <coughs> in this episode, I had no problem with it. So first of all, we get to begin this uh, story with like seeing who Psyche is. Psyche is like a 16 year old uh, boy who was born in a very normal household. His, his parents were kind of carefree, so they really didn't think much when they saw Psyche doing these type of weird stuff. Like, oh, suddenly teleporting and bringing Mirin. Or, you know, like just walking on air or something. Started talking in like a few months or something, he said. And uh, yeah, it didn't, they were like, ah, oh, like, yeah, it doesn't bother me. And they were so carefree and they didn't take him to any hospital or anything. It's just they were like, they just rolled with it. And uh, one thing I could probably, I, I'm, I'm not so sure about it. I wonder if their parents actually tell other people that, oh, my son is like this. Because as they said, they're very carefree. So I'm wondering if they do that. I don't think they probably do that. Like, otherwise, it'll be a chaos, wouldn't it? So I'm, I'm guessing they had to have that type of uh, 
Mm. Like, you know, they, they do know that, yeah, like telling this to others will probably bring in trouble. So they probably don't do that, at least, you know, even though they are carefree, they have that amount of self-restraint, I guess, uh, which I'm not sure I'll, I'm probably going to know in the future episodes when I see more of the parents. <clears throat> so. OK, now. So Psyche here tells us about uh, a few of his uh, powers. Uh, you know kind of telepathic like you can listen to other people's thoughts teleportation uh telekinesis all these things and anything you know he, he basically said that i can do anything that you can think of which is kind of insane isn't it um i do wonder if he could time travel you know he, he basically said that you can like you know if anything you can think of i can do it or something like that time travel is a very I don't know look i I'm, I'm not sure if he can do i'm sure i'll probably in the future episode we might get to know that but if he can time travel that'll be insane you know he'll be he'll, like you know he's, he's he'll be like a unstoppable person then so i doubt he can time travel but we'll see <clears throat> but yeah okay so he just came in <clears throat> was coming in from uh, the school or whatever and that dad was just waiting and we can see the dad always, uh, like, you know, was probably frustrated at the mom because the mom changes the locks or something. <laughs> and then they're, like, fighting and all. And I'm like, what's happening? Weren't they very, like, you know, like, friendly towards each other, as we saw Psyche kind of narrating the whole thing. And, uh, yeah, then we actually get to realize is that they're basically, I guess, Sundares, you could say. And uh, both of them are, like, yeah, I like him, but I, I, I like the other person, but I won't be able to express it. It's embarrassing or whatever. And uh, that's what's happening. And obviously, Psyche knows that because he can read minds. So he was like, ah, oh, it's just, you know, like the usual stuff. I'm tired of this, you know, like. <laughs> so, okay. Um, my God. <laughs> That whole section of serving a shoe and the dad saying like, oh, like, you know, you, you do realize like I do bring food on, on the plate. I, <laughs> I lick the boss's shoe. <laughs> that, was, that was hilarious. <laughs> oh, my God. And. Uh, uh, <laughs> and so like all of this is happening and then Psyche is like, all right, you know, I, I can't be bothered by this, you know. They let them do what they do. Let me have my dessert. He tries to get the dessert, but unfortunately, yeah, the dessert gets compromised. Almost gets compromised. So <clears throat> Psyche gets annoyed. Psyche's like, okay, enough is enough. You do this on your own. I have no problem. But if you bring my dessert into this, I'll make sure that you, like, you know, like that this doesn't happen anymore. So he makes all the, like, you know, forced connection or whatever, telepathic connection. And they can hear their voices now. So wait a minute. So what was the actual reason that they were fighting? Um, where is it? Uh, you can hear me. Post telepathy. Okay, here it is. <clears throat> the actual reason. Um, the mom is like, I'm sorry this whole thing happened because i ate your coffee jelly oh that's the reason why the dad get mad i guess got, uh, got mad and the dad's like okay that's okay i got upset and broke all the windows in the house too what why okay Th that's weird <laughs> okay so then mom's like all right then okay so that was the reason uh yeah okay <laughs> now the mom takes the like his desert and gives it to him like he's like you know what like enough is enough he just blows up all the windows of the house <laughs> and yeah that was funny that was a little funny little introduction to the mom and the dad and uh psyche and we get to know what exactly what type of person they are they're, they're basically eccentrics you know both the mom and the dad <laughs> and oh my god all right the next part is in school where we get to see how psyche talks about that oh um i can <clears throat> do these things but i don't haven't said anything to the uh, students or anyone here because in kindergarten 
I used to win every rock paper scissor uh, like you know matches and I did <laughs> I traumatized the teacher so much that she left school and I became like a local celebrity a little rock paper scissor boy or something so she wa he wants to avoid that uh, and uh, he realized that yeah I should not do all of this so that's why he doesn't do anything and uh, whenever he needs to do something he because he can telepathically like you know hear everyone's inner thoughts he can easily know that oh if someone's near me or something but there's an exception which is this guy um his name is um ricky nendo nendo okay nendo so ricky nendo this guy and he cannot telepathically like you know feel where he is because his mind is empty he doesn't think of anything <laughs> Which is like the ultimate weakness <laughs> and oh my god so he he he's like a, i don't know how maybe maybe we'll get to know in the future i don't know how but he's probably kind of friendly with psyche most probably there have there must be some reason behind it maybe they i don't know maybe something happened in their past or something some kind of backstory which i'm guessing we'll probably get to know in the future but he's pretty friendly with psyche and uh, everyone's just afraid of him uh, maybe it's probably like that because of that you know but probably because everyone's afraid of him he doesn't get chances to interact with others that much and psyche as we know is stoic and you know like all these uh, oh i forgot to m mention that like he's like you know previously he talks about how since he got everything he became insensitized i think that's the word to everything all the emotions that's why he's so stoic because he was able to get everything so easily and uh, that, that's also probably the reason why and and since psyche can you know, like you know like is a psychic um he wasn't even bothered by nendo coming and interacting with him and uh, this is probably the first time that people didn't get uh, someone didn't get scared of him and that's why he he became his friend most probably he's like oh like you know this person is not scared of me or something so yeah he can be my friend i don't know i'm, I'm just guessing maybe because of that but uh, yeah all right so <clears throat> if something happens someone like you know falls down unconscious he takes him give, gives him cpr <laughs> takes him to the <laughs> infirmary and the guy is like oh my god i was just i was just faking this whole thing and this guy had to do this <laughs> oh my god he gets pissed off and and the uh, like you know the teacher comes in the gym teacher the gym teacher's like heard everything and the guy completely turns it on nendo he's like oh he was the one who told me to do this he's crying and he's like oh psyche also did this as well now here a little wordplay comes into play uh where uh, nendo says that okay he says that hold a minute teacher he says he has he's sick with a hair disease it's called root sickness sickness now i think this will probably be lost in translation but what he says is kbo which i'm guessing probably translates to hair root or something most probably like kbo means faking illness and at the same time it probably also means like hair root or something i don't know it's probably something like that um and he says like Psyche is like, don't tell me he thinks that there's a disease called the root sickness. <laughs> and that's what he thought. Yeah. Okay, so the teacher is like, what are you telling? Root sickness? And, okay, his root sickness is a viral disease that causes infections to pores. Its major symptoms include vomiting, fainting, and swollen lips. In worst case, the patients can die. Okay, so this is actually a real thing. So, Nendo basically did not know that and just thought that it's called Roots disease because he said KBO. And the teacher's like, wait a minute, this is like a very dangerous disease. And person can die. <laughs> so, they're like, alright, let's take temperature. <laughs> And Psyche does something here, he kind of increases the temperature, like, you know, the bar the, the, the thing, the, uh, in the temperature, and yeah, his temperature is 92.8 degrees.
degrees. At first, I thought it was Fahrenheit. I was like, wait a minute, that's very low. And then I saw the centigrade beside it. I'm like, all right, he's probably boiling now. <laughs> oh my god. So, uh, yeah, so they. So they call the ambulance and <laughs> take him. <laughs> Psyche. Okay. What Psyche does is he kind of does, does a little pyrokinesis and shows it to us as audiences. And then he burns the whole thermometer down. Which Nendo sees, and Nendo's like, oh, you're also sick. You're also, like, you know, suffering from that disease. And he also goes to the hospital. <laughs> Alright, the next one, we get to meet uh, the other person. What's his name? Uh, the Chunibyo. Okay. Uh, Shun Kaido, I think that's his name. Yes, Shun Kaido. And... Uh, I don't know who he reminds me of. This hairstyle. Ah, uh, I have no idea who he reminds. Okay. I have no idea, but this hairstyle reminds me of someone. Anyways, um, so yeah, he he's kind of like a Chunibyo. He has like the hand wrapped up in bandages, and you know Chunibyos, the most uh, common thing that they do. Oh, my hand! It's burning or something sealed in my right hand or something you know some kind of dragon whatever or and they also kind of say like oh my right eye it's aching uh, you know like there's like some kind of seal in my right eye or my left eye and there's these things you know like that's basically like you know kind of like the main thing of the chunibyos that the main common thing that they do and always like you know like we as we know that they kind of brings up like a kind of plot settings some imaginary uh, organization and in this case, he like you know, he, he talks about the dark reunion, yeah, the secret society, and he comes calls himself Jet Black Wings, all that stuff. <laughs> and he's like talking all of that. At first, the friends, were, the people, were, the students were like, "Wait, really? Is this something that's happening?" And uh, you know, they're talking about the snake and all. And Kaido, <laughs> Kaido brings up a backstory of some murdered dr dragoram snake or something <laughs> and he is like oh psyche you also know this don't you like you know, we people of the who have the power and uh, you know like we we know about this and it just makes up some uh, like in you know, a different setting <laughs> so the people were like oh it's dead the snake is dead some child came and whacked it in the ground and it's it died now <laughs> And everyone's like, ha ha, like, you know, the, the jet black wings, all that making fun of him. So, okay, something happens here. At first, I thought it was Psyche who did that. One of the guys, okay, uh, Kaido goes away to cry in the bath <laughs> toilet. And this one guy who was making fun of him, a snake falls from his sleeves. Okay, at first, I thought that was Psyche who did that. But he says that with my power of so tight, uh, foresight, I saw that there would be a snake in the classroom. So there was another snake. Okay. And that's why he came out. <laughs> and, uh, okay. <laughs> then we see. Uh, oh. Okay, what's his name? I forgot. Uh, Nendo, wasn't it? Yeah, that was his name. Nendo, the, <laughs> the snake, <laughs> bites him. And oh <laughs> thankfully that was only the clothing, and it, it did not actually bite his him himself. So here Kaido comes in, and Kaido's like, "Oh, I'm going to save you guys, and like my jet black wings are going to help me out." And uh, so obviously he has no powers, we know that, but he came in to save them, and there's like the the snake kind of lunged towards one of the girls, and he came in front of them. To stop it and psyche uses his thunder power and like you know defeats the snake uh and everyone's like oh my god he actually did it and <laughs> like kaido is also like oh yeah maybe maybe i am maybe i am what i think i am <laughs> and his junior got worse now interesting thing that psyche says here psyche is like uh you know like i'm like 
Where is that? Okay, he's, he, I can't find that part, but he says something about uh like yeah it's not that you have any like uh, no he, he says something like yeah you have a power which is was which was the reason why you were able to come in front of someone who was in danger and put yourself in harm's way um and uh, yeah that's you could say that's his power you could say like you know it's, it's probably it, it's it's the power of courage and uh, that's yeah that's why you know like as a person himself even though he like talks about all of these dark union and everything as a person he he he's a good person and uh, yeah you could say that his uh you know him wanting to help others and putting himself in harm's way is his superpower or something but yeah this this whole incident made him more chunibyo and he th really thinks he's some kind of a hero now He's just like you know being so cocky and <laughs> nowadays, <laughs> the psyche's like, oh my god, yaddy yaddy, you know, look what I did. Oh lord. All right, the final section we meet the girl Kohomi Teruhashi, and uh, oh boy, she is a person who is like, oh, everyone's just you know like so attracted to me, and uh, you know like, and she's like, ah, I'm not one of those girls who. You cannot know, treat people like trash. I am one of those nice, kind, and beautiful girls. Like, like girl. Like, it's impossible that there's no person who is like me. And he, she has this type of, you could say, I guess, pride or something. You know, and uh, <laughs> she, up until now, there was probably not a single person who ignored her. So he sees, she sees Psyche and she's like, all right, Psyche-kun is going there. Ah, let me just, you know, make his day a little bit better. Uh, maybe he's probably struggling or something. Let me just go in front of him. And seeing this goddess in front of him, he will be like, oh, thank God. Like, you know, like my day is so much better now that I met you. All of that was like the setting inside her head. And she's like, ah, let me just make his day a little bit better. She just goes in front of him and she's like, Oh, Psyche kun how are you? And Psyche just ignores her. <laughs> and she's like, Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe she, he is actually um, shy. Yeah, that's probably it. She's probably shy. He's probably shy. And he cannot even imagine that someone like me is talking to him. Let me just give him a second chance. And he goes, she goes there, talks to him, and she, she ignores him as well. <laughs> and then she again brings up with an, another setting she's like oh maybe he thinks i'm an illusion like he thinks that he is so unfortunate that it's an, an illusion that such an amazing thing is happening to him so yeah he she basically hasn't they're gonna ha, ha, haven't been rejected before that's why she is coming up with these type of theories and all and she's just going in front of him and trying to <laughs> make him notice her while psyche can hear everything and he's like, oh my god, yada yada, another problem here. And uh, <laughs> he really doesn't want to interact with her. So he, he just keeps ignoring her and goes. And then he sees that Nendo is here. And again, you know, like since Nendo's mind is empty, he wasn't able to realize that Nendo was there. So the shock that, you know, like he got at that moment, he saw Nendo in front of him and he's like, oh my god, I need to bail out. And he just teleported out of that whole scene because if Nendo sees them both, Nendo would probably address, uh, you know, like um, uh, talk to um, Kokomi, I think that was her name, and uh, Teruhashi Kokomi, yeah. And the whole thing of, oh, like I cannot see her would be broken. Psyche will have to talk to Kokomi after that. So he, he just teleported out at that moment. And something, <laughs> oh my god, this whole thing goes completely in a different direction. <laughs> Okum is like, wait a minute, was he an illusion? And then he, she thinks about, wait a minute, I just said that maybe he thinks I'm an illusion because he likes me. So if he's an illusion and I'm seeing him, that means I like him. And <laughs> mind blown, he, she's like, oh my god, what's happening? <laughs> and a new problem presents itself. And Psyche is like, yare yare, I, I cannot be bothered. What the hell is happening? 
<laughs> and that's where this episode ends oh my god um that was fantastic and yeah let's see what more shenanigans happens in the next episode so yeah let's start with episode two this is my reaction to episode two of psyche kuso no sign none so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay here's the countdown three two one go <laughs> <laughs> I can see one thing. <laughs> Nendo, the way he turns his head. <laughs> Dad licking the boots. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Hot blooded dodgeball, part one. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Oh, he cannot control his power. Oh my god. <laughs> Meteor. <laughs> Damn. Oh, this guy. <laughs> the teacher is like. <laughs> the teacher is like. The T Hydro, that's his name. Class rep. <laughs> the teacher is like, why am I here? Wait, what? <laughs> Damn, this guy. Why? <laughs> Why are you sweating? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh no. What the? Okay. Ah. Uh. What? Oh, really? Okay. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. Throw it with one finger. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that was too weak. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> oh! Wait, is this a Hunter Hunter reference? <laughs> that reference. Okay. <laughs> yes. 
Wait, what? Oh yeah, he's going out. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow. And he'll be like, you have to win for me. Yes. What? Ah, yes, definitely. Oh. <laughs> Part two. All right, let's see psyches. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and that'll also make him infamous. So what do you do? Hmm. Wait, what? Oh my god. Oh. Okay, that's interesting. 50. Take one player out. Oh no. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, it's different. Oh, it's going to do something. Oh! Ah, that's just... Ah, okay, there you go. Nice. Oh my god! <laughs> the, the sound effect! <laughs> oh! He has to do this now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there you go. It's increasing. Okay. Ooh. Okay, it's lessening. Oh my god. How that bird belongs to 100! <laughs> oh, the final one. Oh my god, Kaido is. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Damn, this music. Oh, wow. A psyche eighty two. Ha <laughs> ha
Oh my god. Yes. There you go. He doesn't have to worry about that anymore. Reach him sign of love. Oh my god, is this Coco me again? <laughs> yes. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. Oh my. Oh. Wait. <laughs> oh wait, who's this? Oh my god. Chio Yumehara. <laughs> Wait, what was he doing? Oh, okay, he was trying to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh wow. <laughs> He's gonna teleport out of something. <laughs> yeah, the cliche. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. <laughs> okay, he's. Oh yeah, there you go. Perfect. <laughs> Handkerchief. <laughs> okay, don't do that. What? <laughs> okay. He'll probably just put it back in her pockets or something. I knew it. Your handkerchief is? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh yeah, the, the infamous Ai Ai Gasa. <laughs> no, he doesn't need an umbrella. He could just... <laughs> yeah, he, he can just teleport. Oh wow, okay, or he can just do that. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, who's this? Damn! <laughs> Drastic makeup. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Oh wow, okay. Understandable. Separate. Oh. <laughs> okay, don't do that. <laughs> Mm 
Yes, it's dangerous as well. Oh. All right. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, then the... Oh my god. Hey, I was just saying that. Wait, then how... How was... Okay. How were they living previously? What? <laughs> okay, yeah, all right, this is going too far. Oh my god. Is he going to tell him to construct it back? He is pissed. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Yeah, the, the things are not... Oh, they're not here. It reverse time? Yeah. Yeah, okay. There you go. <laughs> the whole house has gone back. <laughs> okay, interesting to know that. As you said, there are demerits or receive mind control, okay, or some limitations. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, wh yeah, what are those things? No. Oh yeah, he can just make it feel... Wait, is that Shonen Jump? Probably his power. Mind control, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so be in in scum. Ah, uh, makes sense. Hmm. Wait! <laughs> oh my 
my god! <laughs> wow! They basically came up with a reason for these different hair colors in anime. <laughs> yes, I was able to. One thing. Oh yeah. Oh, so he made it normal. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is one of the best. Wait, what happened? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing. I cannot. I cannot. What is this? Oh my god. <clears throat> so they basically came up with a reason for all of the unexplainable things in anime. It's, it's because of Psyche. So up until now, all the things that we've been seeing, for example, the chop, like, you know, doing that chop makes people like, go unconscious that then how people who are skinny, they're also like extremely strong. While there's like a very strong person who's weak, how different hair colors, blue, green, yellow, uh, I don't know, floor scent. Then what else? Oh yeah, the censorship. Why always, <laughs> whenever someone's clothes tear off? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, and then... Uh... In very tense situations, how can people think so much at that small section of time? Oh my god. Okay, this was fantastic. Yeah, okay. That's the end. My god, wow. Okay, so that was, um, yeah, that was informative. You know, the final section, especially. Like, I feel, I feel like I have been enlightened, you know? Like, and now I understand why all of these things happen in anime. It's, it's because of Psyche. You know, he, he made it so that these things actually happen in anime and people don't find it weird, you know? People don't find it weird why a person has, I don't know, like some hairstyle which is like, you know, defining laws of uh, physics and is green colored because of Psyche. It's because of Psyche and how someone suddenly gets injured, there's like blood pouring and then the next scene, he's fine. He's okay. Everything's fine then. That's because of Psyche. Like, oh my God, like makes so much sense now. Like this is like, you know, this is one of those one of those important mysteries of anime that has been solved now like 
yeah it was it was psyche all along that's 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 really good to know <laughs> okay so this episode oh boy we start with <clears throat> okay what's his name ha hairo kineshi hairo so kineshi hairo he <laughs> he's that hot-blooded you know character that we see in um you know and, and, and a lot of shonen animes he's like oh we can do this with the power of friendship and with the power of yeah like we we, we can win this and i like, can you know, everyone hears him and everyone's like yeah we will be able to do this you know and he, he's one of those characters and psyche is like psyche always doesn't want to stand out but ah uh, hiro is here so he, he is troubled now what he's supposed to do so <clears throat> Here's an interesting thing that we got to uh, see here. Psyche thinks about what's going to happen if people like him too much, he'll gain, he'll gather attention, or if they dislike him too much, they'll also gather attention. So he needs to be in the neutral position, and that's why he, he's thinking of a plan where he could make it as if he, like you know, he's a very average person, and everything is kind of balanced by the end of it. Oh my god, I loved the few sections where in the, in this part where they like you know kind of bring brought up the whole shonen trope of oh like you know they like they, they just started the match and there's like the person is sweating and all and he's like oh we could do this and you know like this type of a, like a hot blooded <laughs> exchange between people and uh, oh my god where is that part where he talks about nen where is that can't find it okay here we go nendo so what happens is uh first of all psyche takes it in the face completely and uh hairo is like oh it doesn't count you know you're, you're not out psyche tried to get out of that weasel out of that situation but yeah he has to be there now he also have to throw so he throws it very lightly towards nendo and everyone's like what the hell is that like you know like the, the favorability the life like like you know the the <clears throat> affection points drops for psyche <clears throat> and psyche is like oh i should not i should probably increase it a little bit more and <clears throat> oh my god this reference nendo says all right they call me nen the dodgeballer for a reason i'm pretty sure this is a hunter hunter reference the whole thing uh, section with Ilua, uh gone and hisoka you know, in, in uh, I don't remember which arc it was, but the whole dodgeball, like, you know, thing that happens. And if you know, Nen is like, uh, <clears throat> like, you know, a, a thing in, like, you know, Hunter Hunter. It's like, there's the source of power or whatever. It's been a while I've, like, you know, watched Hunter Hunter. I probably forgot most of the things, but it's kind of like the uh, key or whatever, you know, like the, 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 the aura that you see, that, that kind of thing is called Nen. It, it has a lot of detailed discussion which was really interesting that when I saw Hunter Hunter, but I forgot most of it now. So that's called Nen. So they, oh my God, they, they mixed so many things here. First of all, they mixed the whole dodgeball thing, you know, they brought up Nen and his name is Nendo. So it makes sense that he's called Nen, the dodgeballer. And this, this I'm pretty sure this is a Hunter Hunter reference. <laughs> oh my God. And uh, yeah. <clears throat> And as, as I said, like, you know, like Hunter Hunter also had that whole dodgeball section where Gon, Kilua and Hisoka played together. So, <laughs> okay. Now, here, um, <laughs> here, Psyche is like, all right, you know what? I am going to lose on purpose and get out. Kind of like, you know, my favorability is a little bit higher now and i will be able to do this so he deliberately like you know kind of uh, messes up the ball was almost going to go out but hyro comes in takes it and he's bleeding and everything and you know even though his leg is injured he's bleeding from the mouth he's like oh my friend you're the only uh <laughs> you're the only one left here who can carry on my will of uh, winning this match so here you go here's the ball and he's bleeding all around he's like you can do it i entrust this ball to you and psyche is like oh my god if i deliberately lose now then my favorability is going to go completely rock bottom 
and that'll make me even more uh you know like put me more in attention so he he's like all right <laughs> so he then a few more like you know like what do you call it like you know things happen um he yeah he kind of balances the whole thing then um what's his name kaido i think that's his name yeah kaido comes in kaido throws it in a very weird way and psyche's likability or favorability keeps rising you know continuously even though he tries to kind of lessen it and uh, like then hyro comes in again it increases even more hyro's favorability is 100 now for him and all the other students are like 80 82 and he's like what the hell am i supposed to do now and then by the end of it there was like that final match between nendo and hyro <laughs> and uh, psyche is like all right you know what like you know he did get injured because of me so i don't want to keep uh like you know owing favors so let me just help him out for a moment there and let us win this and they win it you know hyro wins it everyone's happy and you know the favorability is like 80 percent and all and nendo comes in and hugs psyche and the favorability drops to 46 <laughs> percent psyche is like all right i guess this is fine <laughs> oh my god that was funny all right the next section we meet another girl here they, like and i thought it would be kokomi only who has like an interest in him but it turns out there was another person this girl called what's her name uh what's her name just a sec i can't find his her name okay this girl uh chio yumehara okay interesting that her name is yumehara which i think it probably translates to like you know a uh, person who dreams about a lot of things you know like kind of like in a fantasy or whatever yumehara so she's that type of a person dreamy always thinking of uh you know like these type of scenarios in her head and <laughs> so yeah she is just like you know obsessed with psyche and she's like just drawing like you know his picture and all and he she's thinking of different situations and how he could she could interact with psyche and come up with those developments those you know cliche developments of oh like you know we we what do you call it just ran into each other and the the things the the uh, papers dropped from my hand psyche picks it up and psyche is like just both of them touch hands and they're like ah oh. <laughs> psyche is like your hand is so soft and this this whole scenario plays in her mind she tries to do that unfortunately psyche is a psychic so he just jumps away and just <laughs> using telekinesis brings back the paper and she's like all right the next plan then the handkerchief plan she's going to drop the handkerchief and psyche sees it and gives it to her good you know they'll have a conversation topic if not she'll go and she'll be like oh where's my handkerchief oh there it is and then they'll she'll talk to psyche but psyche just puts it back in her pockets and she's like oh it's in my pocket and she fails she just goes away crying <laughs> and all the different other different like you know uh attempts that she did with the dodgeball with the cooking and everything and she's like failing and she's like what should i do now this it started raining and she's like oh the infamous ai gasa um ai gasa as uh, you know like if you don't know it's the whole thing of i think uh sharing umbrellas you know ai ai gasa gasa means umbrella i means love so they kind of also do it in like you know like a little, little symbol of a triangle and put two of the names beside them like you know like they kind of like you know other people tease the couple who are doing that like that i guess you know and it's like a thing uh in animes that we see you know uh sharing umbrellas that thing so she's like oh we are going to do that uh, i didn't bring my umbrella and psyche probably brought one so i thought that psyche was either going to do some kind of telekinetic you know like force beside it like, you know throughout his body so the rain doesn't hit him or he's just going to teleport what he does is actually stops the rain and i'm like oh my god that's also another way i guess to stop this 
So he does that, and it, it makes more sense because he, you know, he needs to go back home like a normal person, and he wouldn't be able to do that if, it, if the rain keeps falling. So he just obliterated the rain. <laughs> so yeah, he goes back home alone, and uh, Gio is like, oh, like you know, we we are not meant to be together. I'm so sad, and Psyche is like, all right, like you know, like find a better person. Like you know, I'm not for you. Then a random person comes in, <laughs> holds the umbrella. She was like, "It's not raining anymore," and he's like, "The rain of tears hasn't uh, stopped. It's in your heart, that is." <laughs> and then this like this random handsome dude is like, "I'll be the umbrella for your heart," and she was like, "Ah!" <laughs> like it's like this is too fast. Oh my god, that was funny. Alright, the next part, we see the dad and the mom. You know, they, they need, they, they want to kind of combine their room back together again. So they ask Psyche, obviously, a psychic son for help. And they make this whole thing a complete mess as they try to, like, you know, <clears throat> like, uh, what do you call it? Like, you know, uh, put the, the things together in one room. Unfortunately, Trouble happens most of the time because one time it's the balcony that is blocked, one time it's the cupboard, one time it's the door, and Psyche is like, oh my god, I'm getting pissed off at this. And the dad is like, just destroy the wall. And they destroy the wall and the room is spacious now. But the dad is like, oh my god, I cannot, like, you know, I cannot be... <laughs> I can't settle down in such a spacious room. And they keep troubling Psyche and Psyche is so pissed off in the end. And the dad's like, all right, put it back together now. I, I feel like it would have been better if we took the, the mom said, if we took the other room, it's because it's bigger. So we didn't, didn't need to uh, break the room, uh, the wall. The dad's like, oh, this, this is the last time, you know, I, I won't ask you anymore. Like, he's like, all right, fine, as you wish. Puts it back together and then he explains his power. It's not that he restores stuff, he just rewinds back the time. And there you go, everything came back to became normal and... The dad's like, oh my god, what are we going to do? They go back to their separate rooms. The dad and the mom. <laughs> okay, that was a little section which was funny. Uh, the way they kind of, uh, like, you know, like, react to everything. It's funny, you know, like, it's so eccentric and it's so, like, you know, just crazy that it, that makes the whole thing more funny. Alright, and the final section is one of the best things that I've ever seen. You know, the final section of this episode where... Psyche basically explains all the tropes of anime that we see, you know, it's because of Psyche and I'm so glad that I was able to know that. So basically Psyche is like, all right, so there's a question for you. Why are these glasses, these antennas, like, you know, considered normal in this world? Because I mind control people. It's not something huge, like controlling others. It's just I make everyone feel like this is normal. So someone's just passing him by, he's like, oh, what is, what is that? Is that an antenna? And then there's like, oh, it, it must be a hair clip. Yeah, that's pretty normal. Goes back to his own, uh, like, you know, thing that he's doing. Doesn't think much about Psyche. And there you go, Psyche is a normal person. So that's what Psyche did. And uh, nobody, you know, questions him about the antennas and all that. So then he keeps explaining about the different things that he has done. Okay, so... First of all, I completely lost myself when he started saying that take a close look at this. In this world, you rarely see people with black hair. We see yellow, blue, pink, green haired people. And you know what? Like, you know, like, it's really crazy that we as you know, people who watch anime have actually got so <laughs> used to this that this seemed normal to us. <laughs> I really did not even notice up until this point that these people even have blue or yellow or green hair. It felt so normal to me. Like, I was like, oh yeah, this is just a normal everyday, like, you know, thing that's happening. Like, we got so not, like, you know, used to these kind of things with people having crazy hairstyles and all in anime that I really did not notice that. When he mentions that, I'm like, oh yeah, you're right. These people have some colorful hairstyles. <laughs> and he basically explains that because his hair is pink, because of his, like, you know, uh, because he's an esper, 
he made everyone look like this so that it becomes a normal situation in this world and i'm like ah that explains so much that explains why Yu-Gi-Oh or like you know Beyblade or whatever the, the main characters there have so much so many crazy hairstyles and people don't even bat an eye in it it's because of Psyche <laughs> then he explains another one of those mysteries of anime you know uh, which is uh, where is that okay uh, yeah the injury no, Nendo suddenly gets hit by a ball, his teeth fly off bleeding and everything and he just stands up and he's like, what are you doing? Because he like, and thinks everything's just healed, the teeth are back in position. And Psyche is like, there you go, that is also something that I did. You know? There was once a time when he healed an injured kid and the kid was very surprised and Psyche at that moment since he was a kid, he did not realize that he should keep his powers hidden. So what he did, he made it so that it becomes like a natural thing for people to just get healed for these type of injuries. And you know, like someone's probably bleeding from the head and a, a, a panel later, he's fine. And that's it. And it kind of also explained like the hospital does not see patients outside the doctor's hours. Uh, since people stop suffering from injuries, they started to think that it's natural for light injuries to heal immediately another one of those things in anime you know like when someone gets i don't know like you know like like probably poked with something in their head it starts bleeding a fountain of blood is coming out and then the next scene we see everything's okay that that also explains it and uh, yeah so there you go unless and until it's a fatal injury uh wounds heal immediately and one another one of those anime mysteries are uh you know like explained now thanks to psyche he he explained that to us the third one uh, someone's throwing a baseball it's coming and the person is like oh it's going like this it's happening like this you know like okay so the ball strategy is like this the wind direction is there the humidity is this and my uh, swing power is this so if i angle it like this it's going to fly in that direction and i'm going to score a home run all of this happened in a matter of a sec even not even a second a, a fraction of a second how is it possible? Because Psyche did that. <laughs> oh my god. The next one. Suddenly, like, you know, like, the whole, like, you know, some person's clothes tear off. But, you know, the, the, the like, you know, the crotch area and, and the torso area, it's, it's, it's still there. How does that happen? Again, Psyche. Like, oh my god, so many things. Like, I, I understand now why these always happened. It's because if Psyche did all of this. Another one, one can be very strong even when they're skinny. Like this is like a muscular guy, like big guy, doing arm wrestling with a very skinny person. And the skinny person wins in a matter of seconds. How is that possible? Yeah, because again, Psyche. The chop, you know, like how can someone make someone unconscious? The chops his you know, back side, goes unconscious. Because of Psyche, again. These unnatural phenomena are all caused by me. And here we get a little demonstration, you know, like a big guy, you know, just a student. I don't know how the hell a student is like that, that big and that huge, that muscular. It looks like an, uh, like, you know, 30 to 35 year old person. Again, probably because of Psyche, you know, Psyche did something. He takes the, <laughs> the PE teacher and by the, like, you know, by the collar and he's like, oh, what the hell, don't mock me, you bastard. And then he like, you know, starts talking about this weird, like, you know, this, this uh, huge thing of, uh, what, what did he say? That's a legendary attack that could destroy an entire planet, galactic magnum flavored punch. All that stuff he's saying in a matter of seconds. <laughs> he punches and in comes the principal. Who is that? No. Hatakeyama. I don't know who that is. Probably someone, some teacher. It's not the principal, most probably. And. Again, we see like you know, he's just such a skinny guy, just stops the person in just one hand, and then he starts thinking about Congo. It seems like you're blinded by rage, and Congo is just attacking. Don't interrupt me. All of these things are happening in a fraction of a second, you know, because of Psyche. <laughs> and he's like, You have left yourself wide open. Instant transmission, drop. The guy is unconscious, and it's over. <laughs> And yeah, 
wow yeah this 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 episode opened my eyes i thank you psyche kuso for letting me in in this like you know the secret of how everything happens like this in anime i was always like you know i always thought like how does this happen in anime is there an explanation there you go there's an explanation and i'm so glad i watched this <laughs> so that's it thanks for watching guys this was my reaction to the first two episodes of psyche kuso no sainan so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed, comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know. And yeah, I'll check them out. So yeah, that's it guys. So thanks for watching. And that was a fantastic two, like, you know, beginning two episodes. I love this and I can't wait to see more of this. <laughs> that was fantastic. Oh my God. Like this is really good. And yeah, I'm looking forward to the next episode. So see you guys in the next week with two more episodes of Psyche Kuso no Sainan. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.